guys it's the monster here and welcome back to my channel today i want to talk about one of the most interesting topics especially now that christmas is upcoming and well the holiday season is underway now i want to talk about this interesting interesting thing that is um should you get a ps4 or xbox one for the holidays or even this year or the upcoming upcoming year and the answer is well, it depends. If you want, if you're someone who has not experienced the likes of God of War or Spider-Man PS4, or you want to play Days Gone and you know all these up great upcoming PS4 games like Death Stranding, well, yeah, get a PS4 because these games are coming. You know, Metro, uh, Metro uh, Exodus as well. If you're someone who is thinking of upgrading from a base PS4 to a PS4 Pro, then the answer is no. And well, why is the answer no? Well, the answer is no for various reasons, but the main one is the PS4 is at the end of this life cycle. The PS5 or whatever they decide to call the next iteration of Sony's consoles is coming. And that is why um, Sony's skipping E3 2019, why they decided to cancel their personal events that they host, and why they are preparing for the future. And the PS5 is, is coming. It's coming either late 2019 or early 2020. Although I, I do predict that it may come in November of 2019, because they, they, um, they, they released the PS4 in November of 2020. 13 you know it's been a while now and i think they might do the same thing because it's been a while it's been around what six years already and you know it's time to move on we are still playing with technology that is six years old and you know it's uh it's about time that they create some new consoles for you know these new upcoming 4k tvs and 4k monitors with free sync one millisecond response AMD, uh, FreeSync, G-Sync, uh, all of these different things, they are making consoles that could support all of these features. Because they know that they are, uh, there is a large portion of gamers that own monitors and displays that support AMD, FreeSync, G-Sync, um, 144Hz, or even 240Hz. And, you know, they want to give gamers the opportunity to utilize their devices to their maximum capabilities. And this is why they are making these new consoles so that people could take their equipment to the next level. If you own an Xbox One and you're looking to upgrade for to an Xbox One X, then go for it. The difference between games at 4K and games at 1080p or actually 900p because the, the base Xbox One cannot handle 1080p at some, in some games. The difference between the base Xbox One and the Xbox One X is huge you could definitely tell that the details are greater that the resolution is higher you could definitely tell that every single little pixel is different from the xbox one x and the xbox one the base model you could even tell this at in a 1080p display so if you're just looking to upgrade for enhanced visuals then go for it now again it will be a waste of money if you really think about it because the next xbox is coming out in about a year and a half or maybe even just a year so it will be a waste of money to upgrade right now but if you really are eager to play those games at true 4k then why not just go for the xbox one x for the time being if you do have the money and you're willing to make that compromise now this this is different from the ps4 because the ps4 pro does not run games at true 4k it uses it uses checkerboarding and it upscales them from 1440p to 4k which is kind of cheating and that is why the games do not look the same as they do look in the xbox one xbox one should be your primary console to play multi-platform games because of this feature you know you could play games at true 4k native 4k and that is one thing the xbox one x does have over the ps4 pro and you know, if you're looking for the best console that will allow you to use utilize your 4K display to the maximum capability, 
then you should actually go for the Xbox One X because it will allow you to do so. But again, there are, there is a factor of where your friends are at and where you're going to, you know, use more of your time in. And the truth is that the PS4 is the better selling console and therefore there are more people on the PS4 and there is a great chance that most of your friends use a PS4. And that is why the PS4 could just be the better choice for this upcoming holiday season or for or just any season in general because it is where your friends are at one thing to take in mind is that the xbox one x does allow you to use free sync and a hundred and up to 120 hertz i believe which is something that the ps4 does not offer and it is something that is essential for gamers who play in monitors and who play multiplayer games like call of duty gears of war and halo and in conclusion if you do not own a current generation console, go ahead and purchase one. But if you are a person who does own a current generation console, then just wait another year. You could you could use that console that you already have for one more year until the next one comes around. And if you are just eager to buy something new and to own a different console, just go ahead and get the Nintendo Switch. It's an amazing console that has Super Smash Bros. and many titles like Zelda, Breath of the Wild, titles that you could experience for the first time in your life and titles that are really 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 great and are one in a lifetime opportunities um you know one in a lifetime games that will never be recreated ever again so if you are looking forward to getting a console this upcoming holiday you should just get a nintendo switch if you already own an xbox one or a ps4 or heck even if you don't because the nintendo switch is a console that will be supported for the next three to four years while the PS4 and Xbox One will only be supported for about a year and a half. Well guys, this was the one sir. And I hope you did enjoy this video. I'm sorry for any noise in the background. You know, uh, it is what it is. But if you did like the video, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And well, if you didn't really like the video, please let me know down in the comment section why you didn't like it. And well, as I said before, this was the one sir. And I'm signing out. Peace.